qualities, but here is the, the, the bow section with the main anchor, the central anchor, you know, the ship has three different anchor, and one in the middle was the biggest one, it was about uh, 15 tons, sorry. I don't want to go out. Yes. And if you can see that the hull is covered by bacteria, all this uh, in a way, or this uh, all this thing here are made by bacteria, and these bacteria are eating the hull of the ship. You know, all this thing here. That uh, what we call the expansion joint. With the ship, uh, it was a place uh, very fragile. And here is a deck. When we started in uh, 1987, the deck was in perfect condition. And now, step by step, uh, we can see the degradation of the ship is going not faster, but uh, what we can see is going faster and faster now. At the part of the of the break close to the, to the bow section, you can see here, and it's at the level of the post office. And by this uh, opening, we were with a little ROV inside the, the ship. And on this uh, hull too, and we saw, for example, the big safe of the ship, where we supposed to have a, a lot of things inside, but the door was closed, and there uh, was no way we can open the, the safe with a uh, with the ROV. And that the, the stern section is where all the survivors were at the last minute. And I want to stop one of the pictures to show you. For example, here, when I stop, you can see what is the high definition. When you stop it, you have like a picture. Each, each frame of the high definition, it's about 20 megapixels. And with that, we do also a photo mosaic of the ship itself. And you, will, you can see in the exhibit some uh, picture of the ship made by some, some part. You have like a 3,000 picture and a photo mosaic made with 3,000 picture of the, of the video, from the video. I would say we almost don't need any more uh, digital camera. We can use directly the and that's a port side propeller. And you can see the mud I was saying, you know, when the ship was turning, that the, this one is the starboard side. And as you know, you, you saw that at the beginning, these sort of propellers are huge. We never saw the central one because it's in the mud and the two lateral uh, propellers that were coming up when the ship hit the bottom. I will stop again to show you some of the, some artifacts. You can see here is a David, you know, uh, when we were trained for launching the lifeboat. And you, you can see how the piece of metal could be turned. The people were saying to some people that uh, the steel was fragile and it can be broken, but it's not true. That's one of the cylinder of the uh, reciprocative engine is a cylinder number two, because the number one is in the jury field, I will show you just after, because uh, even the engine was broken when the ship was broken, the engine was broken itself. That's the part of the exhaust system of the boiler. And there is some huge uh, piece of, uh, of the hull in the debris field, like this one. Some artifacts, you can see the same in the exhibit. We found them like that on the bottom. That's for me, it's not a part of the Titanic. I think it's a part from an aircraft. <laughs> because it's aluminium and it's not that a bench. And you can see in the exhibit some uh, bench. And here, and I can stop here one second. You can see here, uh, for example, tap from uh, a tub. And you can, there are, uh, this artifact is in the exhibit. That is a part of an electric heater. And you have, of course, some pipe. It was probably a, a bathroom, a first-class bathroom. 
that is one of the cylinder. I was saying that the cylinder number one, and it's one of my dream. If we go back to the Titanic, I would like to recover one of the cylinder. I think it could be a nice uh, piece in the exhibit. Not very easy to <laughs> to install, but <laughs> it's spectacular. And you can see it. You can see some valve and some. Uh, I would like to recover one of the cylinder and one of the boiler. The boiler are 60 ton. And it's, uh, I think it would be a good challenge to, to run up from this day. That one of the electric crane, at the, of course, the bow section, that's the main mast. Where was the cronus? The cronus is down. Now the cronus completely disappeared. And in, uh, in 26 years, I will say even in 23, because the last expedition was in 2010, uh, I saw a lot of degradation of the ship. That is an electric heater. That is a four forecastle on the bow section, and we have, and we have a unbelievable uh, light now on the sub or on the ROV because we can uh, with the LED lights is so much better than uh, ever. And that's the main chain. Each link, it's uh, 80 kilo. They are huge. Not really, they look like a little chain, but they are very big. And here's this winch, or this one. We can read on it that they were made in Glasgow, in Scotland. And you can read everything, they are like brand new, shiny. That's uh, the current uh, polish all the time, this, uh, this winch. One of the, uh, the anchor, at the central anchor, the lateral anchor. Some of the... Uh, Portable. This portable has an inch in the middle and they can rotate. Ah, there's some little trouble with the video. That's the break. That's it. And if you have any questions.